If you enjoy this podcast, be sure to like, share a comment, and most importantly, share the video around. Or if you are listening, be sure to go to our YouTube channel. Just go to Ross Carter on YouTube and hit that subscribe button. I need all the help I can get to share the message. Well, here we go. So we are currently broadcasting live. Um, I generally don't know how well this is going to turn out in terms of reproducing. I've had some issues before with reproduction of re-uploading videos and whatnot. But practically what we are wanting to do in today's episode is to practically build this website which I designed in Adobe XD and document the entire process of building the website. So as you can see here, we've got the basic, you know, blog page of what the blog page is going to look like. Uh, we've got a bit of an accordion, so the sidebar might look something like that. We're not too sure. We'll play around with the settings. And, of course, we've got the default, you know, the home page. We've got the above fold, and then you scroll down. Then you've got your header and all the other information and the footer. So if we were to jump back to the real website, so here is the actual address. You've got Ross carter.com.au so i imagine that's what <laughs> that's what you're looking at right now is the actual website you're watching this through the actual website this is what we've got today i've already spent a couple of hours building it but we are going to go through and just record the entire process of it live as you can see we've got the actual uh, accordion to work the way we want it to and i was just finishing off the editing for that so I'm going to start to mute the microphone now and we'll keep on building.
Okay, so as you can tell, I've just practic I've practically finished most of the home page. So when you first see me, you've got the nice consistent branding all the way throughout. And then when we scroll down, you've got that nice sticky header effect. Okay, so that's what that is. And then another thing we need to chuck in, which I'll do later, is to add in a video explaining who I am, introducing myself, just a friend, friendly way to connect with their uh, person uh, visiting the actual website. After that, I've got a list of what it is that I'm offering, what I'm offering the business owner. So the people that I am targeting are small to medium business owners. And you've got a nice little accordion explaining the list. And you might have noticed I also included a link tree, which is what I'll be using across my socials to keep all the uh, can, all the listing consistent and to keep all of the links consistent as well. It's just an extra little touch as well. And then once we've done that, we've got that little um, more information about social media marketing and just an explanation about who I am, why people might want to hire me and the reasoning for wanting to hire me in the first place. So, you know, you just go through, you explain who you are, what you do and why a business should hire you. And yeah, that's practically it. It's a portfolio website. I've got to actually fix up. While well, I look at it, I need to add a margin on the right. Either two to three M. Okay, perfect. And I'll do the same thing for the accordion. Accordion. One thing people don't do a lot is keeping your branding consistent. And keeping all the margins in place. There you go. It looks a lot better now that it's in line. And same for the left-hand side. Whatever you do on the left-hand side, you want to keep on the right-hand side just to keep that branding consistent.
All right, so now we've finished off with a footer. Um, I might add in some menus later on for video content and things like that. I'm not too worried about that because that's not the important thing. It's just a matter of getting the structure implemented. And that's essentially the key thing. The reason why it's a lot of websites think, especially the old websites, is because they didn't have a lot of structure in uh, the way they built it. And that's why for this website, it's a very interesting website because you've got a nice big fat face right in front of you, which is a whole different part of the website. That is your above fold. The above fold for any website design is the most important thing because that's the very first thing that people see. If people do not understand what it is that you are offering them within the first 30 seconds or the first uh, however long they look at this screen, they're just going to leave your website immediately. So at least with this, I go, who am I? Because on rosscard.com.au, the first question they're going to ask, who is this person? And in one sentence or two sentences, usually you want in one sentence, you want to say, I am an all-in-one digital content creator who can help small to medium businesses grow and engage a digital audience with their online marketing strategy. Just keep it short, sweet, and, and, and simple on explaining on who it is, that, on who you are as a person and why people should connect and resonate with you. And that's not just for as a person, but for a brand, a product, the same principles apply. The next thing that we did was we went through, we finished off the rest of the home page. So we did the home, blog, videos, and the usual stuff that you put in a menu. And we just gone through down each individual section, explaining what I do, who I am, and why you should pay attention to me. And then we went through, we just tidied up the uh, footer just to make sure it matches the top, just, just to keep that flow uh, going through. And I also just uh, adjusted the copyright stuff, added in the proper menus for everything uh, down at the bottom, which we've got to go through and fix up. But there's one more thing I want to do now, which is adding uh, push notifications. And this is something that a lot of people don't usually do is uh, push notifications. And within, because a lot of things are going mobile now, I think push notifications are extremely useful and meaningful because it encourages people to come back to your website. Most people go to your website once, okay? They go to your website once and the chances are they will never come back to your website ever again. Surprise, surprise. Um, and then that's because a lot of people aren't interested or you're not giving them a reason to come back to you. So if you don't give someone a reason to come back to you, they're not going to come back to you at all. So now I'm adding in a notification system. So every time I add a new blog or a new video or a new course, people can get notif uh, notified easily. Okay, so now we need to come back to here, exit to dashboard, jump into plugins, one signal. And there's another tool I need to put in later down the track, but I won't worry about that one for this live stream. And then you activate it. Then we go to one signal. Grab the information that we need, so app ID. Keys and IDs. There we go.
Let's see if it works. Nope.
Okay, so that didn't work the way I want, want to. And hey, that's okay. Some things work and some things don't. Um, so I thought, well, we've got it installed. Maybe we have to wait some time because sometimes when you integrate new things, you have to wait over a period of time for them to work. And that's all right. We have to do that every now and then. So the next thing I was thinking on working on was I couldn't do an app pop up down at the bottom here or something. Um, but the next thing I think we're going to do is the actual blog post. So when we do a blog post, we'll take all the information that we need. So that's what we're going to be working on now is the default blog template. So we're not going to focus on the video template or the podcast template. It's just going to be the blog template. So that's what we're working on right now. So what I'm doing right now is I'm bringing up my app development tool. And this is what I use to build apps. So this will be another live stream for another day. But I do have an article which I had prepared earlier, as you do. So what I'll do, what I'm doing now is I'm just grabbing all the content from the blog post. Okay. And we'll do that. And we also need our featured image. As well. Then we also need to fix up our alternative tag, what's called a visiting. Kendra. And I need my excerpt information as well. So we need to go to screen options, excerpt, featured image, custom fields, which is something I want as well. So now we shall go to publish. One custom field I want to create is custom squared featured image, all right? And then we jump to Canva. So I want to keep my branding consistent. It's not the right one. 
that is. Photos, uploads, see if I've uploaded it already. Probably not, that's okay. Then we download the image. There's some blog post I was working. Here we go. We come to media. Then we wait for it to upload. Come on. And we come to here and we put in the URL for the image. And this, this square featured image will also be used for the app as well. So as you might have noticed, for the actual app, everything is listed in a square. So I want all of that to be consistent and concise all the way through. So now that we've done that, we click on update. We close out of those tabs. We open up the new tabs over here. It's going to look horrendous, but that is the official blog post page we are now working on. Back to full screen.
So there we go. So that's practically the first big chapter done. So what we've done is we've gone through the home page, right? We've gone through uh, fixing up the home page, making sure the home page work. I even fixed up that little home issue that you saw went to a different address when it should not have done so. Um, I've even gone through and fi finished off all the home page, uh, all the home page stuff. So the accordion, adding in the link tree added in the recent content information as well we've also gone through added in the actual home uh the blog template so we need to tidy some things up but that'll be done in the next video uh series that'll probably be chapter two and then of course we've gone through we've added in all of our blog information we've also added in a simple sidebar which we'll add in more detail there and we also added in a footer so it's a very product productive uh, session for the first chapter and for the next chapter a lot more work will be done like fixing up that permalink and going through and adding in more things that we need to add in like adding in the video template the podcast template and eventually linking it up to the app development system that we've got so thanks for watching and i hope to see you again in the next chapter if you enjoy this podcast be sure to like share a comment and most importantly share the video around or if you are listening be sure to go to our youtube channel just go to ross carter on youtube and hit that subscribe button i need all the help i can get to share the message